Hello, and today we're going to talk about the Dynamics 365 add-in for Outlook. And we'll start on the mobile phone using the Outlook mobile app and just take a quick look at what that looks like. And then we'll move over to the browser and see how Dynamics 365 can interact with Outlook on the web. Uh, it should be noted that the Dynamics 365 add-in also works for the Outlook desktop version. Um, we're not going to look at that today, but the functionality is very similar to what we'll see in the browser. So here on my phone, I've got the Outlook app open and I'm looking at a series of emails that I have here from customers. And if I open one of them, the top one, opening this email, I have uh, an email from a customer that includes a couple of different recipients, uh, some of them internal to my organization. So we'll say Kevin Yamashita and Mary Manager are both employees at my organization. And then Ken Meyer works with David Lannon at Whole Foods. And if we wanted to uh, take a look at David Lannon uh, or Ken Meyer or any of the users here, and we wanted to take a look at Whole Foods, what we could do is we could hit the little uh, box icon that is next to the paper clip, and that shows us the add-ins for Outlook on our phone. That opens the Dynamics 365 app. With that open, I've already tracked this email up against the, the Whole Foods account. So here I see some high level metrics related to Whole Foods. These are just being taken from the, the header tiles on the form. Uh, I can also see the recipients themselves. So there's David Lannon and it includes things like his last activity. If I had another meeting coming up with him soon, it would show that. It also has the Whole Foods account here and then notes and anything else related to him that I wanna have on this account. Now, um, I can switch and toggle between the different users here to get a complete sense of who these folks are uh, and see that Dynamics 365 information in my Outlook inbox on my phone. The other thing I can do is if I were to change the tracking on here, This is the same interface that you used to track initially. So uh, if I wanted to track this initially up against the contact of David, David Lannon or a, a recently pinned record, I have all those available to me so I could track this up against whatever I want. Um, or I could look at the recently used records to track against, or I could search for records or create a new record to track against. So you get a lot of functionality here within the Outlook app uh, on your iOS device uh, with the Dynamics 365 add-in. Uh, let's switch over to the browser version and take a quick look at that. So here we are in the browser and I'm looking at that same email. And if I wanted to open up the Dynamics 365 app, uh, I can do that and it shows up in the side panel here. So same high level metrics, um, also the same information about David Lannon, just a bit more real estate for us. And if I wanted to create a new record up against this Whole Foods account, I can. I can create a new appointment, phone call, task, approval. Same thing up against David as well. So I can create some, um, some new records uh, against this email and against the account and the contact that this is set regarding against. Some other things that I can do that are, I think, pretty, pretty nifty are when I reply, I can use the Dynamics 365 add-in to do things like throw in an email template I can see the high level details about the different contacts that are related. If I wanted to choose from one of the email templates, I can go ahead and add that to the email and that displays here. Also, if I wanna add some sales literature, so if I wanted to add some uh, pricing, that can go up against the account. Uh, articles, knowledge-based articles, I can do that. And then finally, I can also follow this email and that will allow me to see if uh, the recipient has opened the email if they've clicked through a link, if they have uh, opened an attachment and so on and so forth. So those are just some of the features with the Dynamics 365 add-in for Outlook. Uh, if I go to my calendar, I can also use that same add-in up against a meeting. So if I start adding people to this meeting, so if I started adding uh, you know, David uh, Lannon to this or anyone else, um, related to Dynamics 365, I have that same panel available to me. So I could track this appointment and I could have it living up against anyone uh, or anything within the system. So I could pin it up against David Lannon, I could pin it up against the Whole Foods account. Um, and as I invite people, I can get more and more information related to them and uh, create new records again 
directly from the add-in from my Outlook calendar, just like I did from my Outlook inbox, both in the browser and also on my phone. And remember, this also works for the desktop version. So that's the Dynamics 365 add-in for Outlook for the desktop and also for the iOS mobile app. And if you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to us at sonomapartners.com.